In gambling parlance, making a book is the practice of laying bets on the various possible outcomes of a single event. The term originates from the practice of recording such wagers in a hard-bound ledger the book and gives the English language the term bookmaker for the person laying the bets and thus making the book. Topic. Making a book and the notion of overround A bookmaker strives to accept bets on the outcome of an event in the right proportions so that he makes a profit regardless of which outcome prevails. See Dutch Book and Coherence Philosophical Gambling Strategy. This is achieved primarily by adjusting what are determined to be the true odds of the various outcomes of an event in a downward fashion i.e. the bookmaker will pay out using his actual odds, an amount which is less than the true odds would have paid, thus ensuring a profit. The odds quoted for a particular event may be fixed but are more likely to fluctuate in order to take account of the size of wagers placed by the bettors in the run-up to the actual event e.g. a horse race. This article explains the mathematics of making a book in the simpler case of the former event. For the second method, see paramutual betting. It is important to understand the relationship between odds and relative probabilities. Thus, odds of A B, A, B or A to B represent a relative probability of B, A plus B, e.g. 6 to 4, 6 to 4 is 4, 6 plus 4. Topic. Four tenths. Zero point four or forty per cent. A relative probability of x represents odds of one minus x, x, e.g. zero point two as one minus zero point two, zero two. Topic zero point eight, zero point two. 4 over 1 4 to 1 4 to 1 topic example in considering a football match the event that can be either a home w in draw or away w in the outcomes then the following odds might be encountered to represent the true chance of each of the three outcomes home evens Draw two two one away five two one. These odds can be represented as relative probabilities or percentages by multiplying by one hundred, as follows: evens or one two one corresponds to a relative probability of one half, fifty percent. Two two one corresponds to a relative probability of one third, thirty three one third of a percent. 5 to 1 corresponds to a relative probability of 1 sixth 16 two thirds of a percent by adding the percentages together a total book of 100 percent is achieved representing a fair book the bookmaker in his wish to avail himself of a profit will invariably reduce these odds consider the simplest model of reducing which uses a proportional decreasing of odds for the above example, the following odds are in the same proportion with regard to their relative probabilities: three, two, two, one; home, four to six; draw, six to four; away, four, one, four. Six corresponds to a relative probability of three fifths, sixty percent. Six to four corresponds to a relative probability of two fifths, forty percent. 4 to 1 corresponds to a relative probability of 1 fifth 20% by adding these percentages together a book of 120% is achieved. The amount by which the actual book exceeds 100% is known as the overround, bookmaker margin or the vigorish or vig, it represents the bookmaker's expected profit. Thus, in an ideal Situation: If the bookmaker accepts £120 in bets at his own quoted odds in the correct proportion, he will pay out only £100, including return stakes, no matter what the actual outcome of the football match. Examining how he potentially achieves this. 
a stake of 60 pounds at 4 to 6 returns 100 pounds exactly for a home win a stake of 40 pounds at 6 to 4 returns 100 pounds exactly for a drawn match a stake of 20 pounds at 4 to 1 returns 100 pounds exactly for an away win total stakes received 120 pounds and a maximum payout of 100 pounds irrespective of the result this 20 pounds profit represents a 16 2 thirds of a percent profit on turnover 20.00 times 100 .00. In reality, bookmakers use models of reducing that are more complicated than the model of the ideal situation. Topic: <laughs> Bookmaker margin in English football leagues. Bookmaker margin in English football leagues decreased in recent years. The study of six large bookmakers between 2005–06 season and 2017–2018 season showed that average margin in Premier League decreased from 9% to 4%. In English Football League Championship, English Football League 1, and English Football League 2 from 11% to 6%, and in National League from 11% to 8%. Topic. Overround on multiple bets When a punter better, combines more than one selection in, for example, a double, treble or accumulator then the effect of the overround in the book of each selection is compounded to the detriment of the punter in terms of the financial return compared to the true odds of all of the selections winning and thus resulting in a successful bet. To explain the concept in the most basic of situations an example consisting of a double made up of selecting the winner from each of two tennis matches will be looked at. In match 1 between players A and B both players are assessed to have an equal chance of winning. The situation is the same in match 2 between players C and D in a fair book in each of their matches, i.e. each has a book of 100%, all players would be offered at odds of evens. However, a bookmaker would probably offer odds of 5 to 6, for example, on each of the two possible outcomes in each event, each tennis match. This results in a book for each of the tennis matches of 109.09 percent, calculated by 100 times 6 11ths plus 6 11ths, i.e. 9.09 percent overround. There are four possible outcomes from combining the results from both matches. The winning pair of players could be AC, AD, BC, or BD. As each of the outcomes for this example has been deliberately chosen to ensure that they are equally likely, it can be deduced that the probability of each outcome occurring is one quarter or 0.25, and that the odds against each one occurring is three to one, three over one, or three to one. A bet of 100 units for simplicity on any of the winning combinations would produce a return of 100 times 3 over 1 plus 1 equals 400 units. As detailed below, the actual return on any of these winning doubles is obtained by multiplying stake times odds plus 1 from each single bet together. Thus for a stake of 100 units we get a return of 100 times 5 sixths plus 1 times 5 sixths plus 1 equals 336.11 units, representing odds of 2.361121 which is far less than the true 3 to 1. Odds of 2.361121 represent a percentage of 29.752% and multiplying by 4 for the total number of equally likely outcomes gives a total book of 119.01%. Thus the overround has slightly more than doubled by combining two single bets into a double. In general, the combined overround on a double OD, expressed as a percentage, is calculated from the individual books B1 and B2, expressed as decimals, by OD equals B1 times B2 times 100 minus 100. In the example we have OD. Topic. 
1.0909 times 1.0909 times 100 minus 100. 19.01%. This massive increase in potential profit for the bookmaker, 19% instead of 9% on an event, in this case the double, is the main reason why bookmakers pay bonuses for the successful selection of winners in multiple bets. Compare offering a 25% bonus on the correct choice of four winners from four selections in a Yankee, for example, when the potential overround on a simple fourfold of races with individual books of 120% is over 107%, a book of 207%. This is why bookmakers offer bets such as Lucky 15, Lucky 31 and Lucky 63, offering double the odds for one winner and increasing percentage bonuses for two, three and more winners. In general, for any accumulator bet from two to I selections, the combined percentage overround of books of B1, B2, by given in terms of decimals, is calculated by B1 times B2 times times by times 100 minus 100. E.g. the previously mentioned fourfold consisting of individual books of 120% gives an overround of 1.20 times 1.20 times 1.20 times 1. 20 times 100 minus 100. equals 107.36%. Topic. Settling winning bets equals In settling winning bets either decimal odds are used or one is added to the fractional odds, this is to include the stake in the return. The place part of each way bets is calculated separately from the win part, the method is identical but the odds are reduced by whatever the place factor is for the particular event see accumulator below for detailed example. All bets are taken as W and bets unless each way is specifically stated. All show use of fractional odds, replace fractional odds plus one by decimal odds if decimal odds known. Non-runners are treated as winners with fractional odds of zero, decimal odds of one. Fractions of pence in total winnings are invariably rounded down by bookmakers to the nearest penny below. Calculations below for multiple bet wagers result in totals being shown for the separate categories e.g. doubles, trebles etc., and therefore overall returns may not be exactly the same as the amount received from using the computer software available to bookmakers to calculate total winnings. Equals <laughs> Topic. Singles equals win single e.g. 100 pounds single at 9 to 2 total staked equals 100 pounds returns topic 100 pounds times 9 halves plus 1 100 pounds times 5.5 equals 550 pounds each way single e.g. 100 pounds each way single at 11 to 4 one fifth odds a place total staked equals 200 pounds returns win topic 100 pounds times 11 quarters plus 1 100 pounds times 3. 75. Topic. 375 pounds returns. Place. 100 pounds times 11 twentieths plus 1. Equals 100 pounds times 1. 55 equals 155 pounds total returns if selection wins. Topic. 530 pounds, if only placed. 
155 pounds. Topic: Multiple bets. Each way multiple bets are usually settled using a default win to win, place to place method, meaning that the bet consists of a win accumulator and a separate place accumulator. Note, a double or treble is an accumulator with two or three selections respectively. However, a more uncommon way of settling these type of bets is each way all each way, known as equally divided, which must normally be requested as such on the betting slip in which the returns from one selection in the accumulator are split to form an equal stake each way bet on the next selection and so on until all selections have been used. The first example below shows the two different approaches to settling these types of bets. Double e, G. 100 pounds each way double with winners at 2 to 1 1 fifth odds a place and 5 to 4 1 quarter odds a place total stake equals 200 pounds note win to win place to place will always provide a greater return if all selections win whereas each way all each way provides greater compensation if one selection is a loser as each of the other winners provide a greater amount of place money for subsequent selections. Trebly, g. 100 pounds treble with winners at 3 to 1, 4 to 6 and 11 to 4, total stake equals 100 pounds. Returns Topic. 100 pounds times 3 over 1 plus 1 times 4 sixths plus 1 times 11 quarters plus 1 2,500 pounds accumulator, g. 100 pounds each way fivefold accumulator with winners at evens 1 quarter odds of place, 11 to 8 1 fifth odds. 5 to 4, 1 quarter odds, 1 to 2, all up to win, and 3 to 1, 1 fifth odds, total staked equals 200 pounds. Note, all up to W and means there are insufficient participants in the event for place odds to be given e.g. 4 or fewer runners in a horse race. The only place, therefore is first place, for which the win odds are given. Returns, win fivefold. Topic: 100 pounds times 1 over 1 plus 1 times 11 eighths plus 1 times 5 quarters plus 1 times 1 half plus 1 times 3 over 1 plus 1. 6,412 pounds. 50 returns. Place fivefold. Topic. 100 pounds times 1 quarter plus 1 times 11 fortieths plus 1 times 5 sixteenths plus 1 times 1 half plus 1 times 3 fifths plus 1 502 pounds. 03 total returns. Equals 6914 pounds. 53 equals topic full cover bets equals Trixie Yankee Trixie Yankee Canadian Heinz Super Heinz and Goliath form a family of bets known as full cover bets which have all possible multiples present Examples of winning Trixie and Yankee bets have been shown above. The other named bets are calculated in a similar way by looking at all the possible combinations of selections in their multiples. Note, a double may be thought of as a full cover bet with only two selections. Should a selection in one of these bets not win, then the remaining winners are treated as being a wholly successful bet on the next family member down. For example, only two winners out of three in a Trixie means the bet is settled as a double, only four winners out of five in a Canadian means it is settled as a Yankee, only five winners out of eight in a Goliath means it is settled as a Canadian. 
The place part of each way bets is calculated separately using reduced place odds. Thus, an each way super hinds on seven horses with three winners and a further two placed horses is settled as a win Trixie and a place Canadian. Virtually all bookmakers use computer software for ease, speed and accuracy of calculation for the settling of multiples bets. Topic. Full cover bets with singles Patent Patent, lucky 15 lucky 31, lucky 63 and higher lucky bets form a family of bets known as full cover bets with singles which have all possible multiples present together with single bets on all selections. An examples of a winning patent bet has been shown above. The other named bets are calculated in a similar way by looking at all the possible combinations of selections in their multiples and singles. Should a selection in one of these bets not win, then the remaining winners are treated as being a wholly successful bet on the next family member down. For example, only two winners out of three in a patent means the bet is settled as a double and two singles, only three winners out of four in a lucky 15 means it is settled as a patent, only four winners out of six in a lucky 63 means it is settled as a lucky 15. The place part of each way bets is calculated separately using reduced place odds. Thus, an each way lucky 63 on six horses with three winners and a further two placed horses is settled as a win patent and a place lucky 31. Topic. Algebraic interpretation Returns on any bet may be considered to be calculated as stake unit times odds multiplier. The overall odds multiplier is a combined decimal odds value and is the result of all the individual bets that make up a full cover bet, including singles if needed. E.g. if a successful £10 Yankee returned £461.35 then the overall odds multiplier ohm is 46.135. If A, B, C, D represent the decimal odds, i.e., fractional odds plus 1, then an ohm can be calculated algebraically by multiplying the expressions A plus 1, B plus 1, C plus 1, etc. together in the required manner and subtracting 1. If required, decimal odds plus 1 may be replaced by fractional odds plus 2. Topic. Examples Three selections with decimal odds A, B and C. Expanding A plus 1, B plus 1, C plus 1 algebraically gives A B C plus AB plus A C plus B C plus A plus B plus C plus 1. This is equivalent to the ohm for a patent treble, A, B, C, doubles, AB, A, C and B, C, singles, A, B and C, plus 1. Therefore to calculate the returns for a winning patent it is just a case of multiplying A plus 1, B plus 1, and C plus 1 together and subtracting 1 to get the ohm for the winning bet, i.e. ohm equals A plus 1, B plus 1, C plus 1, minus 1. Now multiply by the unit stake to get the total return on the bet e.g. The winning patent described earlier can be more quickly and simply evaluated by the following Total returns Topic. 2 pounds times 4 sixths plus 2 times 2 over 1 plus 2 times 11 quarters plus 2 minus 1 99 pounds. 33 ignoring any bonuses, a 50 pence each way lucky 63 total stake 63 pounds with 4 winners 2 to 1, 5 to 2, 7 to 2 all 1 fifth odds a place and 6 to 4 1 quarter odds a place and a further placed horse 9 to 2 1 fifth odds a place can be relatively easily calculated as follows Returns win part 
Topic: 0.50 times 2 over 1 plus 2 times 5 halves plus 2 times 7 halves plus 2 times 6 quarters plus 2 minus 1. 172 pounds and 75 pence or more simply as 0.50 times 4 times 4.5 times 5.5 times 3 5 minus 1 returns place part topic 0.50 times 2 fifths plus 2 times 5 tenths plus 2 times 7 tenths plus 2 times 6 sixteenths plus 2 times 9 tenths plus 2 minus 1 11 pounds and 79 pence or more simply as 0.50 times 2.4 times 2.5 times 2.7 times 2.375 times 2.9 minus 1 total returns equals 184 pounds and 54 pence for the family of full cover bets that do not include singles an adjustment to the calculation is made to leave just the doubles, trebles and accumulators. Thus, a previously described winning £10 Yankee with winners at 1-3, 5-2, 6-4 and evens has returns calculated by £10 times 1 third plus 2 times 5 halves plus 2 times 6 quarters plus 2 times 1 over 1 plus 2 minus 1 minus 1 third plus 1 plus 5 halves plus 1 plus 6 quarters plus 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 equals 999 pounds and 16 pence in effect, the bet has been calculated as a lucky 15 minus the singles. Note that the total returns value of £999.16 is a penny higher than the previously calculated value as this quicker method only involves rounding the final answer, and not rounding at each individual step. In algebraic terms the ohm for the Yankee bet is given by ohm equals a plus 1, b plus 1, c plus 1, d plus 1, minus 1 minus a plus b plus c plus d in the days before software became available for use by bookmakers and those settling bets in licensed betting offices LBOs, this method was virtually de rigueur for saving time and avoiding the multiple repetitious calculations necessary in settling bets of the full cover type. Equals Topic. Settling other types of winning bets equals Up and down Round robin A round robin with three winners is calculated as a trixie plus three up and down bets with two winners in each. A round robin with two winners is calculated as a double plus one up and down bet with two winners plus two up and down bets with one winner in each. A round robin with one winner is calculated as two up and down bets with one winner in each. Flag and superflag bets may be calculated in a similar manner as above using the appropriate full cover bet if sufficient winners together with the required number of two winner and one winner up and down bets. Note, expert bet settlers before the introduction of bet settling software would have invariably used an algebraic type method together with a simple calculator to determine the return on a bet see below. Topic. Algebraic interpretation If A, B, C, D represent the decimal odds, i.e. fractional odds plus 1, then an odds multiplier ohm can be calculated algebraically by multiplying the expressions a plus 1, b plus 1, c plus 1, etc. together in the required manner and adding or subtracting additional components. If required, decimal odds plus 1 may be replaced by fractional odds plus 2.
Topic Examples Topic See also Statistical Association Football Predictions Glossary of Bets offered by UK Bookmakers equals equals notes.